Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. Um, so, in a previous video we learned how to install third party components and in that tutorial we learned or we installed the Windows Media Player components, uh, ActiveX, ActiveX compos components or type library. So, today we're going to be using it and creating a little media player. So add the T Windows Media Player component to your form let's save it first let's name the form um if i'm home save it okay let's find my place where i where i usually save my stuff this is going to be 52.1 uh creating a Windows Media Player clone. Yeah, let's call it that. Sounds appropriate. Okay, creating a a basic Windows Media Player clone. Okay, let's call it other other. Now let's leave it that. It's fine. T Windows Media Player. Let's call it. That's just fine. Okay, it's fine. Let's save it. This unit must be called uh, U Home. Project must be called Windows Media Media Player Clone. Okay, save it. Okay, let's actually now first. Okay, let's let's um, align this. Windows Media Player to the client and let's add an open dialog to this thing. Let's add a button. Let's make it align the button to the top. It says because if you double click on this open dialog basically open the open dialog for us so you can select files okay and now my Delphi is lagging okay so change the button caption to um, select a file let's increase the font size a bit let's make the font size 16 oops 16 maybe 20 okay and let, uh, let's write some code for this one. We'll just say if open dialog one dot execute, then begin. So basically, we're just um, executing it. Let's let's just write this code quickly. Like if we just um, say open dialog one dot execute, then it actually executes open dialog and, and it opens it for instance click here that opens the open dialog for us okay so now just say if it is executed like it's successful you can even have it like that equals true leaving it out then we must windows media player one dot url equals the open dialog one dot uh, file name and then we just say windows media player one dot um, okay that's all we can do I think let's test it compile so we select a file. Let's go to my desktop. I have a movie there, I think. Desktop. Rush. So now we've selected the file. Ah, it's, and it's playing. Whatever this is. <laughs> See, so um, you can change the volume. You can pause, you can stop, you can play again. 
Um, you can zoom in full screen. It's basically so. It's basically a normal Windows Media Player component. You can change the play speed to fast. Let's select something else like music. If I have any. Um. There's no need to drive fast. It just increases the percentage of risk. We're not in a hurry. I don't have okay. music. Activities. I don't have music, but here is a sound file. Good morning, Frau Müller. So you can B. change the font size and everything here also. Statistics. Properties. Uh, options. Guten Abend, so it's really just like a normal, um, like a normal Windows Media Player component. So now we basically created our own Media Player clones. You can actually take out this begin and end. So you can play videos, you can play music, whatever. Um, so basically, we are just um, putting the URL in here. And then playing it through this controls here. Um, you can put a stretch to fit to true, for instance, and make the full screen by default true also. Let's compile and show you the um, this fit to this. Uh, what's it called now again? Uh, sorry, guys, it's late. It is midnight. I just enabled something. What did I? Oh, there's the stretch to fit. So now it will stretch the file or shoot. Let's see. Let's let's select something. Let's go to my videos. Mm. Go to my YouTube videos. More is my um, vlogs. Let's choose as advice for young programmers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneeze. Anyway, hey guys, what is up? My name is. It should Robert now. And welcome to my stretch to fit it. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like it's, it is stretching it to fit. Yeah, it's it's working. Okay, guys. So, uh, thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to leave a thumbs up for this video if this video helped you in any way. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more videos. Like this, in the next video we're going to be learning how to either use the uh, Microsoft Speech Library or Syn Edit. So yes, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!